Hey, Dr. Dennis Fiorini here with Fiorini Chiropractic, and we're here to tell you this, the, today how to keep your adjustment longer. So, as all of you know, in Atlas Orthogonal Chiropractic, one of the things that we really want you to do is to be able to maintain your, your, uh, your alignment. So after we adjust your atlas with the Atlas Orthogonal Percussion Adjusting Instrument, we want to enable you and empower you to be able to hold that adjustment for longer periods of time. For example, my adjustment holds for approximately a year and a half at a time. Uh, that's because I'm real careful with my neck. I'm very careful with how I walk around. I'm very careful with how I move my neck. And so just a few tips that uh, if, if you just implement a few of these things, you can help maintain that alignment for a much longer period of time. First of all, the main function of the atlas, what the atlas does is it helps your cervical spine, helps you turn your head. Now, because of the uh, lack of stability, we don't have as much stability. We, we have much more mobility than we do have stability up at the upper part of the neck. In other words, it's very easy to knock the atlas out of alignment uh, because we had to, when we were running away from saber-toothed tigers and things like that, we had to be able to look behind us to see how close that predator was from us. So as we developed, um, we developed that being able to turn our head a lot, okay? Now, that's not conducive to maintaining an alignment. So the number one thing that you need to avoid is avoid turning your head um, quickly or keeping it turned for long periods of time. So if you're in the car and looking to the right and looking to the left real quickly, you need to slow down and be careful. You need to kind of turn at the waist and turn to the right and to the left at the waist to look around you. Um, the second thing is, is that if you're sitting watching TV or working on a computer or something, that computer or that TV should be right in front of you so that you don't have to sit all day long turn with your head turned or all the evening long with your head turned. Okay, that brings me to the third point. The third point is you want to sleep on your back or on your side. You should never sleep on your stomach because if you sleep on your stomach, you have to be able, you have to turn your head to be able to breathe. And that makes you stay in bed all night with your head turned. Okay, so you got to lay on your back or on your side with a pillow. Now, you need a pillow that will fill up the space behind your head and uh, support your neck while you're sleeping. So whether you're on your back or whether you're on your side, that's the way that that has to be. The fourth thing that you need to do or avoid is you want to avoid reaching uh, over your head with one arm or with the other arm uh, unilaterally, unilaterally or on one side is much worse than reaching up with both arms because typically you can kind of do that at the same time. But when you do this, you engage the neck muscles and that can pull the atlas back out of alignment. There's a muscle called the levator scapulae that attaches right to the atlas and it can pull things uh, out of position uh, a lot quicker than uh, maybe other positions. Um, finally, what I would recommend is, especially after your first adjustment, you should not work out uh, that night um, and until your atlas orthogonal doctor uh, tells you when you can work out again. I always recommend my patients that if they, uh, uh, if they are out of alignment and we have to adjust them with the atlas orthogonal adjusting instrument, uh, percussion adjusting instrument, I always tell them that they shouldn't work out that entire day and, and they shouldn't work out until the next time that I check their atlas. So those are just a few things uh, that you can do to help maintain the alignment of your atlas, your head, your atlas, and the cervical spine uh, after you've been adjusted. So if you have any questions, please feel free to call us 656-2200 or you can email me at Dr. Fiorini that's D-R-F-I-O-R-I-N-I -I at Fiorinichiropractic.com. Thanks a lot for listening to our video. Have a great day.